Hi, so today I want to make benzyl from benzoin, which will be my starting material. This will maybe or maybe not last step starting from toluene. My goal here is to have some at least remotely usable photo initiator for methyl metacrylate. So here is benzoin that I have made last time. Well, actually it's not from last time, but whatever. It is almost exactly 10 grams. Transfer this to some glass container. You can do this technically in open container as well, but using flask is very useful here. To this benzoin I will add 50 grams of about 65% nitric acid. This is a little bit overkill, but the quality of product that I've got was quite good. This could have been also due to the fact that I used a scrubber and quite prolonged heating period, so who knows. Also as per your recommendation I've got a pipette and it's not amazing, but this is not probably what you meant, right? Now you should heat this up to about 70 degrees Celsius. Other procedures say that heat and don't boil, so something like that. Since I've got this heating pad already set up, I will use that. It will heat this to about 65 max degrees Celsius. I will definitely want to use quite strong stirring gear, because apparently benzyl can dissolve benzoin, and then this will prevent the oxidation of benzoin further. I'm not quite sure if that is the case, I would be quite skeptical, but I will do that and also I will use scrubbing for nitrogen dioxide gas that will be formed here. Really just sodium hydroxide solution and this gas doesn't really want to be like evolved excessively if there is a lot of nitrogen dioxide gas concentrated, so not completely sure what's going on there in any case. So when this heats up you can already see quite a lot of nitrogen dioxide in the flask and just leave this for a few hours, like 3 I would say is minimum. I left this about 5 hours. This is after about 3 hours, you can see that the container is pretty dark. There is oily layer floating on the top of aqueous layer and it's not quite clear. I guess that this could be the solution of benzoin and benzyl. I guess it could be water dissolved in it, but I doubt that really. So again I restarted the stirring to atomize the oil layer as much as possible and leave this for another 2 hours. After that I removed the scrubber hose and in course of like few minutes this completely vented and no more nitrogen dioxide has been evolved. And then we are left with quite clear looking yellow oil that is actually refluxing with water on the sides of the flask, so that's pretty nice. Next you have to separate these two fractions and you would say that just leave it in the cold and it will crystallize out, but that's not always the case. This oily layer can be super cooled and it will freeze slowly if you introduce some seed. What seems to work well is just dump this to a beaker with water bath and it will crystallize out. Here you can see as I poured this from the flask, it already started to crystallize out, so this is definitely super cooled. Then just filter this as you normally would. I have used quite a lot of water there because previously I ran this reaction for quite shorter time period and instead of solids I got some gooey material that wasn't really that great. Instead what you see here is absolutely crispy and I would have a bite if I could. So I dried this up and it's time for recrystallization. So I got about same weight as I started with because these two substances has very similar molecular weight. And to recrystallize this successfully you have to use pretty fine amount of ethanol. Because benzyl can get super cooled it's really hard to follow conventional process. So after everything has been dissolved leave this in room temperature. And first crystal should appear at around 30 or 40 degrees celsius. If they don't I recommend to force it by either scraping glass rod on or placing seed crystal there because otherwise it will crystallize quite fast and in dense way and it could affect quality of your product. Also you can see that the crystal structure is very different from benzoin, it forms really long needle shaped crystals. By the way benzyl will decompose in UV radiation so using strong light is probably not great, but otherwise you can see really. And finally clean this material up by filtering it and washing few times with ice cold ethanol. Benzyl does have this greenish color to it so you will always see some of it in the washing stage so 
it's better to not overdo it really, otherwise you may lose quite a lot of product, as I probably did. So here is wet benzyl, and it has a really really nice greenish tone to it, it's, it's like it's like if it was fluorescent, but it's not. And after drying in darkness, the color really shows up. It's quite hard to capture it on camera, but this is probably what it looks like in real life. And this is our final product, very fine fluffy greenish looking crystals. And it's almost exactly 6.66 grams, god damn it. Question is though, will it polymerize? Well, I guess we'll see next time.